my name is Keith Everett with NIDIC. Today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the NIDIC US 4000. The US 4000 is a compact all-in-one device that provides contact and immersion, A-scan biometry, B-scan imaging, and pachymetry. So my first demonstration on the US 4000 will be A-scan biometry. So we're in the A-scan biometry screen. This is where you're going to enter your patient demographics. This is biometry, B-scan, and pachymetry. So we'll stay in biometry for now. For eye type, we have several different eye types. Phacic is a continuous measurement from cornea to retina. Phacic 2 is a segmented measurement. Aphacic is for patients who do not have a natural lens. And IOL, eye type, is patients that have an implanted IOL that you would like to remeasure. Modes, we have semi-auto mode, which once the waveform hits the threshold, you can press the foot pedal and it will measure 10 measurements automatically. Speedy is going to give you three measurements automatically. Manual is where you can press the foot pedal for each individual measurement. And then the auto will give you 10 measurements automatically once the waveform hits the threshold. We also have a dense cataract mode, which press is going to give you a flat low threshold. The thresholds we have is normal, low, and flat low, which is the same as dense cataract. Down here we have our print. You can also save to your USB. This is biometry to IOL for your IOL calculations. And this is your live screen. These are your gates. We have automatic gates, but if you would like to turn your gates on for retina, cornea, front of lens, and back of lens. And these gates can be individually moved by turning the time in gate control. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to take a measurement with our contact A-scan probe. I have a jig here with a little bit of water, but since this jig does not have a natural lens, I'm going to change the eye type to aphakic. I'm going to come down, we're going to select the proper eye. I'm going to click on the freeze, that's going to go live, and we're going to stay in the auto mode, which is going to automatically give me 10 measurements. Place the A-scan probe on the jig. and it's going to give you your 10 automatic measurements. We have an average of all 10 of 21.0 and a standard deviation of 0.2. Now that we have completed our A-scan biometry measurement, we're going to go in and select an IOL. By selecting BIO to IOL. From here we have our axial length. Now we're going to measure um, our K measurements are going to be entered, K1 and K2. Our target refraction, refractive error. Our formula, all the eye walls can already be preset for the doctor's settings. As you can see down here, for each one of these eye walls, the US 4000 will select the proper eye well depending on all the measurements and your target refractive error. From here, we can select which IOL that we would like, and then we can print. 